last class we discussed regarding the trivetted joints the introduction of trivetted joints and also we discussed the design procedure for the longitudinal joints so in this class we will discuss the usage of design data handbook subjected to riveted joints so i am using the design data handbook dr k lingaya volume 1 dr k lingaya volume 1 for your kind reference okay so this is the design data handbook which is the chapter number 13 which is riveted joints so these are the some of the important symbols and notations some of the important symbols and notation for example capital a is nothing but a cross sectional area okay so here the d is nothing but a diameter of the river rivet and uh, here you can see that uh, i which is number of rivets in pitch line also with uh, okay suffixes i and 2 respectively for single shear and as well as the double shear okay so i is nothing but a moment of inertia and j is nothing but a moment of polar moment of inertia okay these are the some of the important notations and symbols so next if you talk about that some of the important formulas with respect to that pressure vessels or boiler if you if you talk about pressure vessel as i said we have two type kinds of joints the first one is okay the longitudinal joint and also we have the circumferential joints to manufacture a pressure vessel or a boiler for example if you want to see here the thickness of the main plate if you talk about the design procedure of the longitudinal joint so with respect to that i will i will explain that the usage of design data handbook you can see here the thickness of the main plate the thickness of the main plate with respect to the longitudinal joint the equation number 13.1 which is available in the design data handbook this is the equation the thickness of a plate of a pressure vessel of longitudinal joint this is the equation h is equal to pf di divided by 2 neta sigma theta here we need to add plus c okay for this equation we need to add plus c okay this is the equation which is re respected to okay related to this longitudinal joint same thing if we talk about the thickness of the plate for the circumferential joint this is the equation we will use that is the equation number 13.2 okay 13.2 next after that what we need to find out after thickness what we need to find out we need to find out the diameter of the rivet see this is the diagonal pitch this is a pitch okay so you can see here there is a rivet so some arrangement okay of the rivets you can see this is a capped, small d is nothing but a diameter of the rivet if you talk about that the diameter of the rivet here we have different equation for example so here you can see d is equal to 0.19 root h to 0.2 root h so that is a equation number 13.5a okay so where h and d is in terms of meter so here we want that okay the diameter d is equal to this is a equation we will use for this is a lap joint and for this this is a butt joint so you can see here this is a d is equal to 6 root h to 6.3 root h this is a equation we will use to determine the diameter of the rivet where h and d in terms of mm okay the equation number 13.5 the equation number 13.5c this is a equation we will use to determine the diameter of the rivet okay next after that so for example here what we need to do we need to select okay we need to select the the diameter of the rivet we need to select the standard diameter of the rivet and corresponding rivet hole from the table number 13.2 i will show you that the table number 13.2 how to select that with respect to this uh, okay equation using unwin's formula okay if you talk about the diameter of the rivet now you can see this is the diameter of the rivet and rivet hole for example if you get diameter of the rivet so it should be 12 mm for that the rivet hole diameter in terms of you can see this is a 13 so if you see the diameter of the rivet in 14 we'll get 15 diameter of the rivet hole okay so this is how we can measure the standard diameter okay standard diameter but here you need to keep one point in your mind for all strength calculations use the diameter okay the dia okay of rivet hole for all strength calculation you need to consider the dia of the use rivet hole diameter you need to use rivet hole diameter next after that what we need to find out with respect to that longitudinal joint we need to determine the pitch okay so i will show you the equation which is related to the pitch so you can see that the pitch in general case this is a equation okay p is equal to 2i2 plus i1 into pi d square tau divided by 4h sigma theta plus d 
this is a equation we will use to find out the pitch okay so as per the indian boiler regulation as per the ibr specify the factor specify this factor 1.875 1.875 instead of 2 here we have 2 i2 so in place of 2 as per the ibr okay regulation we need to add we need to substitute okay instead of 2 we need to substitute here 1.875 this is a value we need to use keep this point in your mind okay this is the equation number 13.30 which is related to the pitch, okay, which is related to the pitch. Also, we need to calculate the, the pitch. Also, we need to calculate the pitch from the table 13.14. I will show you that the table 13.14 for the selected joint, okay, for the selected joint. So, I will show you the table number 13.14. 13.14. So, this is a table number 13.14. Now, you can see here, Okay, this is a table number 13.14 in the design data handbook. For example, here we have the type of a type of the joint. Okay, here type E we have, type F we have, type D. So in that butt joint we have. So this is a figure. For example, this is a single riveted zigzag or single riveted lap joint or butt joint or whatever it may be. Okay, for that, so here also we have that. Okay, so the efficiency of the plate. Okay, we can find out the efficiency of the plate. So here we can find out efficiency of the plate by using this equation. And also we can determine that the longitudinal pitch. Okay, the longitudinal pitch in the sense this is the equation. For example, so if it is a butt joint, okay, the type of the rewrite pitch. So type B. Okay, for example, type B. This is a selected joint. For this selected joint, so the pitch, the longitudinal pitch is 0.06 H to 0.06 H plus 40. Okay, this is the equation we will use. Same way. We need to determine the transverse pitch also. We need to find out the transverse pitch also. So from this uh, table number 13.14, we can find out. Okay. So and also we can find out the 13.11. Okay. The table number 13.11 from that also we can find out. Okay. For the P by D ratio. Okay. Pitch and diameter. Pitch by diameter. For that also we can find out that. Okay. Now I will show you. Okay. Next how to determine the transverse pitch okay so while uh, while find out the pitch so you need to find out the pitch by using 1.875 i2 plus i1 into pi d square tau divided by 4h sigma theta plus d okay that is a one method okay and also you need to find out the pitch value from the table number 13.14 then you need to compare that now the permissible pitch so permissible pitch is minimum among the above two values so you need to compare that in that minimum value you need to consider for the next further design of the longitudinal joint here you need to find out the transverse pitch so how to find out the transverse pitch so transverse pitch in the sense okay here the transverse pitch you need to calculate the transverse pitch from the table number 13.11 this is the transfer okay the table number 13.11 as per the asme boiler code okay as per the asme boiler code for the value of p by d Okay, so anyway, we know the pitch now. Okay, so anyway, we know the pitch now. And also, we know the diameter of the rewrite. So, 6 root h to 6.3 root h. By using that equation, we can find out the diameter of the rewrite. So, for example, the P by D ratio. So, P by D ratio, I will give one small example with respect to the P by D ratio, with respect to transverse pitch. For example, the pitch, you will get 82. The diameter is 23. If you simplify that, you will get 3.565. 3.565 for that you will get the pt is around 2d for example you can see that p by d is equal to uh, 3.565 you can see that in between 3 as well as 4 you will get 3 in between 3 and 4 or 4 you will get so in between 4 and 5 you will get 2d so for that p by d value if you get p by d is 3.5 or okay in 4 in between that so you need to consider 2 by uh, 2d so, if you see, substitute that values, 2D is nothing but a 2 into diameter of the, okay, the rewrite. So, 2 times of 23, so you will get 46. This is a small example, okay, a small example how to find out the, the transverse pitch. Okay, same way you need to find out the transverse pitch for the selected joint from the table number 13.14. Now, you can see here, okay, for example, this is a, the butt joint in the type B. If you go for type B, okay, you can see this is the transverse pitch. 
the equation for the transfer switch is here also you will get 2d so 2 into diameter of the rewrite okay so we will get the diameter this is how we can use okay you can use the value you can find the, the value okay from the table number 13.14 next after that what you need to find out you need to determine the margin as we all know that margin okay so 1.5 times of d that is the equation number 13.11a I will show you that where exactly that equation you will get 13.11 13.11 you can see this is a margin for the longitudinal seam joint all the pressure vessels and okay the grip seam okay power boiler having unsupported heads okay for that see m is equal to 1.5 d to 1.75 d okay see this is a value 13.11 a okay this is a value we can use next we need to find out the thickness of the cover plate for thing okay you can see here thickness of the cover plate so cover plates so here there is a subheading called cover plate the thickness of the cover plates h is equal to 0 0.6 okay so here hc we have okay h is equal to 0 0.6 h to 0 0.0025 h if h is greater than 0 0.038 meter okay so you can see here hc is equal to okay hc is equal to this is the equation number 13.13 Thickness of a single butt cover plate. Thickness of a single butt cover plate. Hc is equal to. You can see 1.125 h. 1.125 h. For double cover. Okay. For double butt cover plate. You can see Hc is equal to. Okay. H1 is equal to H2 is equal to. 0.0625 h. 0.0625 h. This is how we can find out the. Thing, or this is how we can find out the value. Same way. Here also very important parameter for double cover butt joint. You can see this is the equations. Okay, so for double cover butt joint, Hc is equal to H1 is equal to H2 is equal to 0.625H. This is the equation we will use. Okay, so these are the equation. You can for narrow strip, H2 you will get somewhere. You can see thickness of the double butt cover plate, H1, 13.17A and 13.17B. These are the equation we will use for the double cover butt joint. Okay, double cover, but join. Next, what we need to find out? We need to find out the length of the shock. Okay, length of the shock. So, there is a equation. Now, you can see here, this is the length of the shock. Okay, the length of the shock of the rewrite. You can see this is a L is equal to, okay, for lab joint, L is equal to 2H plus 1.5 to 1.7 D, where D is nothing but a diameter of the rewrite. Okay, that is the equation number 13.31 C. Equation number 13.31 C. Okay, next if you go with, uh, if you go for uh, for single cover butt joint or okay, the length of the shank, okay, you can see here H plus HC plus 1.5 to 1.7D for butt joint. Okay, this is how we can find out the length of the shank. Okay, same way, if you go for strength calculation, I will show you, okay, strength of the solid plate. I will show you the equation, equation number 13.20. You can see the theoretical strength analysis. The, st the tensile strength of the solid plate you can see f theta is equal to ph sigma theta okay this is the equation for general expression for the resistance of shear of all the rewrites in one pitch line f tau is equal to 2 i2 plus i1 pi d squared divided by 4 into tau this is the equation which is related to the strength calculation that is 13.22 same way if you want to find out that crushing strength, resistance of the crushing of the rewrite, Fc is equal to I2H plus I1 H2 into D sigma C. This is the equation we will use to find out the strength calculations. So, this is a, some of the important the design procedure and usage of the design data handbook with respect to the longitudinal joint, okay, which is related to the riveted joints, okay. So, this is how you can find out the values. This is how you can find out the values okay so after that we all know that efficiency of the joint efficiency of the joint is nothing but a, the minimum strength of the joint to the strength of the solid plate minimum strength so whatever the strain strength calculation the minimum strength to the strength of the solid plate okay that you will get the efficiency so keep that point in your mind this point in your mind if the efficiency must be within the range of the given from the table 13.14 i will show you in a quick uh, manner 13.14 13.14 so it is not there in this 13.14 uh, you can see that 13.14 i will show you in the